everyone you are welcome to prospect channel tv thanks for subscribing to this channel if you have not please kindly do so by pressing the subscribe button don't forget to press the bell icon this is where you get notification whenever we upload any video from this channel thank you very much once again god bless you it was a shocking moment in Ondo State High Court on Monday when two video tapes were played by the Department of State Security Service, DSS, as evidence standard in the court against Hafa Babatunde of the Sotobiri Church in Akure. The prophet is currently undergoing persecution over the missing of a 13 month old boy, Kolawa Legood, in his church last November, that is 2019. The interrogation in the video was conducted on Monday by the men of DSS, headed by one Adekule, and they can say to the prophet, Barrister Omoweri. However, the video has it that the pastor had initially said in an interview that it was because the parents of the missing boy did not come begging, state, start stating that the boy could have been found if the parents had begged him. He said in the video that uh, the parents of the missing boy did not follow the church Norma Chane in reporting the case of the missing boy. The presiding judge, Justice Olishegu Adoshola, having diligently watched the video, ordered that the exhibit, exhibit be taken in as a useful evidence against the prophets. Also, one of the suspects who is also a teacher in the church said she was been she has been a member of the church for over three years she confessed that indeed the little boy was brought into the church on that fateful day she said further that on that day 14 of them were present to oversee the affairs of the church she said the little boy God was brought into the church and the boy was registered on the church register as Kolawale God on number 87. She said all she knew that was that the boy was brought in and a few minutes later another woman came in to feed the boy but she could not ascertain if the boy was Kolawale good. Yeah. So, hello, viewers. What's your take on this? As you can see, the pastor have said that for the fact that the parent of the, the missing boy did not come begging, that is the reason why the child uh, was not found or could not be found. And he also said that the the pastor, that the parents of the 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 boy, did not report the case in a normal way, as in their church rules and regulations and all that. That is the reason why God Kolawale is still missing. You see, that is the, I always tell people that the problem of human being is pride. If this man is innocent about this, these statements will take him to jail. How can he say something like that? When did his church turn to a police station? Because you are a pastor now, then you have become a god. Someone's child is missing, and you want the person to come laughing with you and all that, and the child missed in your church. How do you want them to, to report the case to you? So because they did not come to beg you, so because they did not lie down for you and all that, that is the reason why you could not help them uh, look for the child 
Or oh, that is the reason why you could not bring out the child wherever the child is or was, whatever. This is very, very unfair. An innocent child got missing in your church. And this is what you can say. Because you are a pastor, you don't become God. May then they worship you. May the parents come begin worship you. So they carry, carry their pekin, come your church. Their pekin, come, come they miss for your church. They make them lie down. They beg you. May their pekin come out. And their child missed in your church. If your hands is in, if your hands is on this, you will never go free. Because this is just a, an innocent child. Up to now, God Kolawale has not been found. Okay, now that you are now in police custody, why can't you look for solution? Why can't you pray? Why can't you uh, bring solution to this or ask God? Because in the first place you said you are not you are your hands are clean, you know nothing about the missing child. Now you are now saying that is the reason why the child is still missing because the, 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 the parents of the child did not report the, the case normal. You don't turn your church to the police station, you don't turn your church to God because you be pastor. Okay, see and now me and who they suffer and I'll not be you dead there. For how many months now you did police custody? My pain is that God Kolawale till now has not been found. An innocent child that was full of life before entering uh, Sotobiri Church. That is just my view about this. Let's hear what people have said. Someone said here. Yeah. <laughs> You can see this pastor is very rude. You can imagine what he's saying in his mouth. All right, someone said that they should kill the useless pastor too. Why are they still keeping him even with this evidence? All right, someone said that, but this man is a man of God. If they bring this kind of problem before you, he will give the person solution. Since is in police custody. I think he's supposed to be fasting and praying so that God will show the evil that kidnapped the little boy. He said, Someone said, By our mouth we can be condemned. By the same mouth we can be justified. The wise should learn from this case, not only to condemn him. God will surely expose them all. That is the problem. Is because of pride. That is what uh, uh, we bring his down for. It's because of pride. It's only pride, proud person can say something like this. Because I don't know how he wants the parents to present the uh, matter to him. That child is missing for goodness sake. That child is missing. And the child missing that in, in your own church. Not that they came to your church to come and find solution about their missing child. This child miss right in your church. Is 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 the words of your mouth now that will bring issues to you if you are actually innocent on this. Okay, someone said they beg you for what and what channel to go for finding a lost child. Now I know and believe you really have a, a case to answer, but you should confess where the child is dead or alive. These type of pastors were the, were the more reason God is angry with the churches. Okay, someone said that because you want your church to fool, you just buried this handsome baby alive in your altar. All your children will be buried alive. <laughs> okay, someone said that yeah, you have been kidnapping and killing people, children. Those one we bring you down for. Your cop don't fool be this, he said. Okay, someone said that yeah, who was the another woman that came to feed him? And that that is a very a, that is a very good question. So you saw the mother when the mother came to drop the child. And in the same vein, another person came to feed the child, and you could not even ask who are you. 
and he kept quiet. Someone else was feeding another person's child. Now, wow. Hello, guys. Let me just drop it here for now. What do you think about this? Don't forget to leave your opinion below the comment box. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.